Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing linear equation in two variables and this is the video lecture number 11. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 10 before watching this part 11. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about uh, how the reducible linear equation that is a uh, different type of equations are given and different form and we will reduce them first in form of linear equation. So, we are going to discuss today a reducible linear equation and uh, topic is here I am writing a reducible civil linear equation, linear equations. This is the topic and that I am going to discuss today. So, uh, this is mentioned in exercise 3.6 of NCRT. So, we are going to discuss today 3.6 exercise 3.6. The very first question um, that is uh, given here, uh, they solve the following pair of equation, the following pair of equation, pairs of equation, of equations by reducing them in pair of linear equation by reducing them reducing them in to a pair of linear equation to a pair of linear equation pair of linear equation right so what will happen let us see the first question which is given here is um, the first part of this first question is given as 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 3y is equal to 2. 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 3y is equal to 2. And the second one is 2 upon root x plus, no, sorry. Second one is and 1 upon 3x plus 1 upon 2y is equal to 13 by 6. And this is second equation. <coughs> we will have to reduce them in the form of linear equation. So, we can put it 1 by x is equal to say p and 1 by y is equal to q. Put 1 by x is equal to p. So, what will happen? That will be p by 2 plus q by 3 is equal to 2 that can be converted in form of 3p plus 2q divided by 6 is equal to 2 and that will be 3p plus 2q is equal to 12 this is equation third similarly from second from second what will happen that would be p by 3 plus q by 2 is equal to 13 by 6 and that can be further written as 2p plus 3q divided by 6 is equal to 13 by 6 and 6 and 6 cancels out so 2p plus 3q is equal to 13. Now uh, 2p plus 3q is equal to 13 this is equation 4. So 3 and 4 are now linear equation and we have to solve them 3 and 4. So solving 3 and 4 on solving third and four, we have we can multiply three by three p plus two q is equal to twelve, and two uh, p plus three q is equal to thirty. So to make coefficient of p equal, we can multiply third equation by two and fourth equation by 3. So, what will happen in that case if you multiply by 2 that will be 6p plus 4q is equal to 12 to your 24 and if you multiply by this 3, 3p plus 9q is equal to 39. So, if I will subtract this then sign will change isn't it? So, this would be minus, this will be minus and this will be minus also. So, these two cancels that would be minus 5q is equal to minus 15 and therefore q is equal to what therefore q is equal to 3 minus minus cancel and 15 divided by 5 is 3. 
Now, uh, since 2p, 2p plus 3q is equal to 13, and therefore, if I put here value of q, that is 9, uh, so 13 and 2p is equal to 4, so p is equal to 2. Now, what is p? Since p is equal to 1 by x, so 1 by x is equal to 2, and therefore, x is equal to 1 by 2. And what is q? q was 1 by y, and 1 by y is equal to 3, therefore, y is equal to 1 by 3. So, there are two answers of the questions, x is 1 by 2 and y is 1 by 3, and that is the answer of each solution of question. That is the solution. I hope you got it. Now, the next question <coughs> that I am going to take on the second part of the question, and that is 2 by root x, 2 by root x plus 3 by root y is equal to 2 and this is the first equation and second equation is 4 by root x minus 9 by root y is equal to minus 1 this is the second equation to reduce them in linear form we can put 1 by root x is equal to p and 1 by root y is equal to q so the given equations can be transferred therefore the given equation reduces to given equation <coughs> equation reduces to reduces to if I put one by that root x is equal to p, then that will be 2p plus 3q is equal to 2, that is third equation, and 4p minus 9q is equal to minus 1, that is fourth equation, I can say. Now, uh, solving, multiply 3 by 2, so multiplying, multiplying equation 3 by 2, and subtract, subtract from equation 4, equation 4, what we have to subtract from equation 4, that is 4p minus 9q is equal to minus 1, and if you multiply by 2, then that will be 4p plus 6q is equal to 2 to the 4. So, if I subtract this, then there will be minus, minus and minus. These two cancels, minus 15q is equal to minus 5. And therefore, q is equal to 1 by 3. And q is what? 1 by root x is equal to 1 by 3. So, q is 1 by y. q is 1 by y. So, it will be 1 by q is 1 by y and that is 1 by 3. This employee y is equal to 9. Root y is equal to 3, so y is equal to 9. Now again, if I put here anywhere, uh, q is equal to 1 by 3 from second, from fourth, we can have 4p minus 9q is equal to minus 1 and q is 1 by 3, so 4 by 3 q is 1 by 3, so 4p minus 9 into 1 by 3 is equal to minus 1 that is 4p is equal to 3, 3 yeah, 9 so that minus 3 will come this side, plus 3 minus 1 is 2 and therefore p is equal to 1 by 2 now since what is p? p is, since p is 1 by root x, therefore 1 by root x is equal to 1 by root 2. So, this employee root x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4. So, answer will come here, x is 1 by 4, solution will be x is 4 and y is 9, uh, a solution. solution. So, this is the question. I hope you got it. Now, the next one, 
is question number three and that will be question number three is five upon five upon x minus one plus one upon y minus two is equal to two and this is one and second question is given six upon x minus one plus minus 3 upon y minus 2 is equal to 1. There is a negative sign. Second equation. So to reduce them in a linear form, we can take it as let solution. Let 1 by x minus 1 is equal to p and 1 upon y minus 2 is equal to then the given linear equation will convert as what will happen? Then linear equation will be 5p plus q is equal to 2 and 6p minus 3q is equal to 1. That is equation 3 and that is equation 4. So to equate them, we should multiply this by 3 and now further it will be 5p, 5 3 is 15p plus 3q is equal to 6 and 6p minus 3q is equal to 1 because q are equal and so we can equate them by adding them adding on adding them we will have this this cancel 15 plus 6 is 21p is equal to 7 and therefore p is equal to 1 by 7 and what was p P is 1 by 7, P is basically, uh, I have assumed here, P is nothing else but 1 upon x minus 1. So, P is 1 upon x minus 1. 1 upon x minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 7. And this employee x minus 1 is equal to 7 and therefore x is equal to 8. That is, now putting the value of P anywhere, say in first, from first, from fourth, or uh, 6p minus 3q is equal to 1. If I put p is equal to 1 by 7, then what will happen? If p is 1 by 7, then this will be 6 by 7 minus 3q is equal to 1. And this implies 6 by 7 minus 1 is equal to 3q. Uh, q must be equal to uh, minus 1 upon 3q must be equal to minus 1 upon 7. So this employee q must be equal to minus 1 by 21. And what was q? q was 1 upon, 1 upon y minus 2. So we can write here q is 1 upon y minus 2 is equal to is equal to minus 1 upon 21 and therefore y minus 2 is equal to minus 21 and y is equal to minus 90. So here we get x is equal to 8 and y is equal to minus 90. Six p is 1 by 7. So 6 by 7 minus 3 q is equal to 1. If I subtract this will be 3 q is equal to minus 1 by 7 and q is minus 1 by 21. 1 upon y minus 2 is minus 1 by 21 and y minus 2 is minus 21. So here y is equal to minus 19. So there will be two solutions of this x is equal to 8 and y is equal to minus 19. That is solution of this question. So I hope you got it. Now the next question is third question and fourth question right there. Question number four. Question number four is there. And the fourth question is given here. Three by x minus four y is equal to twenty-three. And uh, next one is four by x plus three y is equal to forty. So these are the two equations, right? We can reduce them in linear form by putting 1 by x is equal to p. Say, put 1 by x is equal to p. Put 
1 by x is equal to say z then this will be 3z minus 4y is equal to 23 and 4z plus 3y is equal to 40. Now uh, to equate them uh, we can multiply this one, this one by 3 and this one by 4 the coefficient of y can be equated easily. So that will be 9z minus 12y is equal to 69 and 4 for the 16z plus 12y is equal to 56. By adding these two because there are opposite sign so we can add them on adding on adding these two we will have this and this cancels out now 25z is equal to 5 125 so z is equal to 5 and z was what z was nothing else but 1 by x and 1 by x is 5 and therefore x is equal to 1 by 5 that will come i hope you got it z is 1 by x so 1 by x is 5 and therefore x is equal to 1 by 5 now for uh, y if i put the value of z z that is 5 in any one of the equations so from 4 from 4th four, 4th equation we can have 4z plus 3y is equal to 14 and z is 5 so we will write here 4 into 5 that is 20 plus 3y is equal to 14 so 3y is equal to minus 6 y is equal to minus 2 so y is minus 2 and z is 1 by 5 that is the solution so the solution is we can write solution solution is y is equal to 1 by x is equal to 1 by 5 and y is equal to minus 2 that will be the answer of this question now next question is the and question number that is question number 7 question number 5 8x plus 7y is equal to 15 divided by xy. And this is first equation. And the second equation is given as seven x minus two y upon xy is equal to five. This is the second equation. So we can separate them first because uh, that will be 8 upon y plus 7 upon x is equal to 15 xy can be taken as separate and here that can be 7 upon y minus 2 upon x is equal to 5 so we can take uh, let 1 by x is t and 1 by y is q 1 by y is q so what will happen in that case if I will assume this that would be 8 q 8 q plus 7 p is equal to 15 and that would be 7 q minus 2 p is equal to 5 so this is equation third and this is equation fourth we can go through the substitution method as well but uh, <coughs> okay, we can multiply this by 2 and this by 7 so that the coefficient of p will be same. So, if you multiply the third by 2, that will be 16q plus 14p is equal to 30 and multiply by 7, that will be 49q and 7 to the minus 14p is equal to 35. By adding, these two will cancel and that will be 65q is equal to 65 and therefore q is equal to 1. Putting the value of q, now uh, putting the value of q in uh, any one of the equations say third or fourth. So putting the value of now putting the value of q Putting the value of Q, putting the value of Q, 
value of q in fourth wicket wicket what will happen q is 1 so 7 minus 2p is equal to 5 that is 2p is equal to 2 so p is equal to 1 p is equal to 1 but what was p p y 1 by x 1 by x is equal to 1 and therefore x is equal to 1 now q is 1 by q and q is also 1 so 1 by q is also 1 1 by y is equal to 1 and this employee y is also equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 will be the solution now there is question number 6 and we are going to solve question number 6 that is 6x plus 3y is equal to 6xy this is what given if you divide by xy both the sides then what will happen that will be um, 6 by y 6 by y plus 3 by x is equal to 6 this is equation 1 and the second equation is given as 2x plus 4y is equal to 5xy that if you divide by xy then xx cancel that will be 2 by y plus 4 by x is equal to 5 this is equation 2 so to reduce them in linear form solution will be like this let 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q so what will happen that will be 6q plus 3p is equal to 6 that is equation third and 2 by 2q plus 4p is equal to 5 that is equation 4 now to equate them i can multiply this by 3 so that it will be 6q so using this there will be 6q that will be 6q 6q plus 3p is equal to 6q plus 3p is equal to 6 and if you multiply with this it will be 6q plus 12p is equal to 15 if i'll subtract them then sign will change and that will be cancels out so what is left there that will be minus 9p is equal to minus 9 so p is equal to 1 and now since p is equal to 1 um, q will be also from first you can see that will be here I am writing this side this is this. so since p is equal to 1 from third we can write it from third p is 1 so 6q plus 3 is equal to 6 here p is 1 right? so 6q plus 3 is equal to 6 6q is equal to 3 and therefore q is equal to 1 by 2 what was q q is 1 by y so 1 by y is equal to 1 by y is equal to 1 by 2 and therefore y is equal to 2 and since p is 1 so p is 1 and p is what 1 by x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 therefore x is equal to 1 so we can write x is equal to 1 x is equal to x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. So, solution set will be like uh, here I can write solution will be like now looking for question number 7 and that is x plus y plus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 4 this is first and then it is given that 15 upon x plus y minus 5 upon x minus y is equal to minus 2 this is second equation so to reduce them in linear form to reduce them in linear form let uh, 1 by x plus y is equal to p and 1 upon x minus y is equal to q 
So the equation one and two reduces to hence equation reduces to reduces to what will be that? Ten p plus q ten p plus two q is equal to four and fifteen p minus five q is equal to minus two. That is third and this one is four. Now we can multiply this equation by first multiply one by we can multiply multiply third by five and fourth by two by two we get to solve them. If you multiply by five third by five then the equation will be 10 pi of 50 p plus 10 q is equal to 4 pi 4 j 20 pi 4 j 20 20 end it and if you multiply by this 2 then this will be 30 p minus 10 q and is equal to minus 4 since they are of opposite signs so on adding that will be cancelled. So this two cancels. 50 plus 30 is 80 p that is 16. So therefore p is equal to which will give p is equal to that will give p is equal to 1 by 5. p is 1 by 5. And what was p? P was 1 upon x plus y is equal to 1 upon 5 and therefore x plus y is equal to 5. In this is equation uh, 5, I can say. Now, uh, putting the value of P there, you will have, putting the value of P, you will get value of Q, isn't it? So we can find value of Q by putting the value of Q. Okay. Now uh, from P, putting the value of P in any one of the equation from third we can write here. From third from third from from third we have ten p plus two q is equal to four and we got p is equal to one by five so ten into one by five plus two q is equal to four and what is that? 2 plus 2q is equal to 4, therefore 2q is equal to 2 and q is equal to 1. So since q is equal to 1 and what was q? q was x minus y is equal to 1. So this is equation 6. Now solving 5 and 6, adding 5 and 6, x minus y is equal to 1, then that will be 2x, y, y cancel is equal to 6. And therefore, x is equal to what? 3. x is equal to 3. And from since x plus y is equal to 5, x is 3 plus y is equal to 5, so y is equal to 2. So the solution of this question will be x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. That will be the answer of this question. So here we will get so the question is like x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So this is what we have learned till now and uh, we got uh, how to reduce the linear system of linear equation and then you know how to solve. There are three methods you can use any one of them either substitution method or uh, elimination method or cross multiplication method you can use any one of them according to your choice 
So that's all for today and uh, in this first half and after the break we will discuss the remaining question. Till then, uh, hopefully we will do the best. God bless.